it is possible for us to do the right thing and take the country forward. We've been given the privilege by the people of Kenya to serve them, to work for them. We must also make sure that the privilege we have, the opportunity we have, translates into opportunity for the millions of Kenyans too, to have access to a job, access to a business opportunity, access to do their farming, and drive our country into the right direction. Here is our opportunity to unbundle all the commitments in our agenda as determined in the high-level retreat in Nanyuki early this year and to prepare to assign them for implementation to every department all the way to every uh, public servant. As we consider the results of the evaluation and feedback, we also have to deliberate with greater intention about the design of the forthcoming performance contracts, their implementation and evaluation. Above and beyond the broader constitutional obligations and the strategic objectives in terms of our plan, I am very keen to observe how the next performance management cycle enhances the realization of the national values and principles of governance throughout government, at all levels of governance, and in all parts of the country. In particular, how much the public service affords equal opportunities for men and women, persons from all communities and persons with disability, will be of foremost interest. Equally, critical will be the mainstreaming of a comprehensive agenda for Kenyan youth, including training, apprenticeship, industrial attachment, and internship, access to government procurement opportunities, and entrenchment of the digital and creative economy. 